All right, folks. So here we are, just starting to snow. Finally, first signs of winter. But uh, before it gets too nasty out here, we're gonna try our hands at, uh, at fishing, see if we can get some, uh, some panfish. Then a little bit later, Logan and I are gonna head over to that trail cam and we're gonna see if we can find our, uh, see if we um, if we got any footage of some uh, little critters running around. So uh, for now, we're gonna get our rod set up and we're gonna drown some worms and uh, cross your fingers for us guys, let's see if we catch something. So here we are at one of my favorite fishing holes. Uh, in summertime, you can come here and pull out 50, 60 perch in a couple of hours um, and sunfish too. Really fun place to fish, but uh, we used to be able to fish over across the side here. You see that little cement thing? We used to fish there all the time, and uh, it was great. Um, but the cyclists started complaining to the city that they didn't have a place to stop and rest. So the city actually banned fishing on the other side of the canal. Can you believe that? Anyway, I wrote a letter to the city complaining about it, saying, uh, what the hell, man? You know, you're basically stopping a, a good place for people to come and, uh, and relax and enjoy family time doing... Um, you know, doing a good, a good, a good activity, and uh, they just didn't even reply. They didn't even care. <laughs> Imagine that, eh? So uh, I guess if you're a cyclist, you can do whatever the hell you want around here. But if uh, if you're a fisherman or an outdoorsman, it's like screw you, basically. But well, guys, <laughs> we did catch one. It's a tiny little guy, but we are on the board. I'll give you a quick little close up of this guy before we release him, so he doesn't get too cold. There we go, little tiny perch, probably good for bait, but it's going back. Well guys, so it's starting to get way too cold out there, so uh, we called it. Logan's fingers here were turning beet red, and um, it uh, feels like minus two right now with the wind chill, and uh, with the rain and the snow coming down, it just got to be a little bit too much. Uh, and the little guy, he brought some gloves, but they soaked right through in no time. So he's warming his hands up in an extra toque that I brought with me. So um, that said, we're going to uh, stop uh, fishing now. At least we didn't get skunked. We caught that one perch. Uh, we're going to head on over to that uh, spot in the woods and go check out the trail cam. Uh, we'll uh, start a fire and uh, try out a new little stove that I picked up. And then um, we'll have some, uh, some chunky soup or something. So uh, stick around. We'll see you in a bit. Well, Alright guys, we were lucky enough to make it, it was a, a tough climb up a big hill, <laughs> Logan's trying to get comfortable here, but we found the camera, I'll uh, zoom in there and we'll take a quick look and we'll see if we found anything. We're done in You know, we got some action here. All right, so it appears we did get some footage. So um, for now, we're just going to open up that new uh, stove that I picked up and uh, have some lunch. We'll have make a quick fire uh, if we're lucky enough because it's uh, pouring rain out here now. But uh, we'll make a quick fire, warm up some, uh, some uh, soup, and then uh, we're just going to head out of here. It's just a quick check. But uh, I am going to bring the camera home with me tonight. So um, if we did happen to get any decent footage in there, I just flipped through real quick to see what was going on. But if we did get anything really cool, I'll stick it right at the end of the video so we can check out that footage. All right? Sound good, guys? All right, so we're gonna, you're gonna go find some sticks. Now remember, they gotta break like this. Listen, hear that? Yeah. They snap right off. Even though they're wet, they'll still be good. If you watched my video where I made the, uh, I repurposed the hammock to make a chair, um, I used a Lixada stove, a fire stove, to, uh, to cook my steaks on. But uh, the problem was, is that the, um, after using it about 20, 25 times, maybe 30 times, it started to warp and it was starting to warp more and more and more. And even on a perfectly flat surface, now, as soon as you lift your pot off of it, the thing would misshape and come apart. So um, I'm going to be going into that in detail in a future video because uh, I like to uh, revisit my reviews a year later and 
give my thoughts still if I believe them, if I if I agree with what I said after a long term use. So anyway, I did pick up this stove. Now these have been kind of going around a little bit. It's another one of those uh, gasification stoves, and uh, one thing I do like about it right off the bat is it fits in my MSR pot. It's one of those 700 and I think 775 milliliters or something like that. It's just under a liter. So, here's the stove. We gotta hurry up and get this set up and, and go in a little bit because uh, we're starting to get a little bit cold. And that little bit of warmth will do the, do the trick. So it's got a base. It's got the top. Then you got the burner inside here and the inside kind of drops down as a tray and everything kind of locks it together. Now the good thing about this being round is that it should, hopefully, um, it should not warp as much as the other flat panels will. So if it does, but it still should lock it together and be firm enough to be able to cook things on and uh, not come apart on me across cross our fingers. So uh, let's get this puppy loaded up and uh, get, get a big batch of twigs together and then we'll, um, we'll uh, get started with our lunch. Take a look at this guys. This was even hard to light with a lighter. Look at all the moisture that's coming out of there. How crazy is that? But it looks like we got it started. And uh, basically what we'll do is I'll let this go a little bit more. I'm gonna add a few more big sticks of uh, bigger sticks for fuel. And hopefully all the smoke will come off of there and then that'll light and then we can get our, uh, our soup on. Get some food into us. So here's our location. Let's give you a look. We've been here before. Nice spot. And here's our give you a quick look at our struggling fire here because everything is soaking wet. But seems to be working nice now. It won't be long before Logan gets his soup and then I'll put mine on. Well guys, something bad happened. I'll give you a look here. I was just checking the soup and I dumped it on the floor. Luckily we have two, two, um, two cans and uh, some of it actually fell into Logan's bowl. So we're going to use the, he's going to eat that and I'm going to split my, my bowl with him uh, as long as I don't dump that on the floor too. But uh, anyway, um, I'm just going to wait for my second bowl to, to go. And uh, I want to give you a quick look at how the fire works in here. The fire is here. So we're running a little bit low on fuel in there, but as soon as we're done eating, we're going to get out of here. All right, guys. There's our soup. Nice and steamy hot. We're going to fill up Logan's bowl again. Hopefully get him nice and warm. And then uh, we're going to get out of here. It's kind of funny you have these days, you know. You want to get out, have a good time, and have fun. So we get out of the car today starts raining and snowing when we're fishing we catch that one perch but then there's the wind out there because it's all open got really way too cold so we had to leave so then we arrive here everything's going good find a find a few spots logan crashes in the woods a couple times falls down <laughs> gets stuck in sticks and falls down then we come out here trying to film and have a malfunction with my tripod and then we drop the soup on the floor and then we have a hard time getting the fire started it's just a rough day but we're eating some good soup and it's better than a day at work. Look at this. Look over my shoulder. How beautiful is that? I don't know if you can see this here. Give it a little turn. But I absolutely love this view. I can look at this all day long. Look at that. So, all right, folks. It's uh, pretty chilly out here. Yeah, Logan can see his breath. We're just gonna go ahead and finish off our soup and then uh, pack on out of here. As for that little stove though, that stove worked pretty well. And uh, considering the conditions we were in, the uh, birch bark, I was actually able to squeeze water out of it and everything was soaking wet. And uh, if you saw the amount of smoke coming out of that puppy when we got it lit, 
um, it was a uh, it was really really wet and it, it smoked like that for quite a long time before it went out so um, anyway I'm pretty pleased with it hopefully it doesn't warp out like the other one did but uh, I think this one will be pretty good so so I'm looking forward to using this again and I like the fact that it stores away in my MSR pot that's pretty cool and uh, anyway so we're gonna finish this up we're gonna get out of here if we see anything cool on the way out we'll let you know but uh, as for that you guys get to explore we'll see you again soon